Hello there, Gemini. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for January 26th through February 1st. I am using the Russian deck of, um, or the Russian tarot of St. Petersburg as my deck again. And so, Gemini, on Monday what you have is you have the chariot in reverse. This just tells me that you're really working on a project that, um, that you would like to see come to fruition on Monday. And this project is going to be something that involves your own self-discipline and self-will, but it also is going to involve the integration of other components or other people as well. And everything all has to kind of fit together and be scheduled together. And, and so I'm seeing that on Monday you're going to be really working on that, but there's going to be some kind of delays or snags or holdups coming in so that just not all the pieces quite come together yet on Monday. Not a sign to give up on the thing, um, you just have to keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep working it and working it until it finally comes through. Um, Gemini Tuesday, Five of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse just tells me, ba -da 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 -da, what is this telling me today? Sometimes I get different meanings on this, so I want to take a nice good look. Yep. Okay, so Five of Swords in Reverse is just telling me that you're in a situation where you and everybody else is supposed to be focused on the same goal or the same target, and everybody's supposed to be moving in the same direction. There's a slight problem with this, though, because everybody seems to have a different agenda about how to get to that target or goal, so everybody's trying to do it a different way. And what's going on is it's totally just dragging the project down to where it's just not even really moving forward at all, hardly. And so um, there was one other detail about this. When this card comes in upside down and talks about this, what this is saying is that if there's any possible way for you to step out of this situation or to stay out of this situation, it's really in your best interest because if you don't, what happens is you just get totally embroiled and tied up in this mess and you lose a lot of energy dealing with this mess that could be spent better elsewhere. Okay, so that was Tuesday. So Wednesday, what I have coming up for you is my favorite, 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 all-time favorite card, The Fool. I love this card. Um, a lot of people will talk about The Fool as if it's a bad thing. I personally don't believe it is at all. The Fool talks about a leap of faith. So on Wednesday, you have a situation that you just know how to handle it, and you don't really know how you know. There's no explanation for how you know. And really, it's a gut thing. It's an intuition thing. And um, the thing is, though, that it, there's no logical explanation to substantiate, substantiate the idea of you doing whatever this thing is that you know you should be doing. And so you can't really justify it logically. And you can't tell friends about it and get them to support you because you can't justify it logically, and they can't either. <laughs> so it makes it kind of a difficult situation to be in. But um, when the fool comes in upright, this tells me that you're able to look at this thing that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know, and you're able to um, grasp a hold of it and just go with it. Um, I like to think that when people can do that, it's because they know that this thing that they know that they know that they know that they know is coming to them from the higher source than them, and that if they follow that thing that comes in from a higher source, then that higher source has their back. And honestly, when you do, uh, uh, when you have a full card and a full situation in your life, and you leap out, do that leap of faith, it's the beginning of the most exciting, wonderful journey. You never know what's coming next, and spirit, God, universe, whatever name you want to put on that, always seems to surprise you with just the right thing at just the right time. <laughs> Especially if you can keep yourself from stressing out about it and just go, okay, I'm out here because spirit sent me out here. I know he's going to look out for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really, it's an amazing and wonderful journey. So congratulations to you, Geminis, on Wednesday. Now, Thursday what we have coming up is we have the Three of Swords, but the Three of Swords is re reversed. And this is one of those cards that it's good to get reversed. When the Three of Swords comes in for me reversed, what this is telling me is that there's some kind of heartache that you've had in your life that on today, something's happening that's helping you to heal that or get over that. So, um... This would be a perfect indica indica indication of, say that somebody lost a close friend or a family member, and so that was a heartache. I mean, you grieve from that. That's a huge heartache. Um, and then they go to a medium. Say, say that some of you go to a medium on Thursday. And on Thursday, the medium lets you know that that person is still around, is still doing well where they are, is still interested in you and watching out for you. Um, that's an amazing, amazing comfort 
to be able to hear something like that. Um, and I know this personally, not only because I've received medium messages from people that I have been close to that have crossed over, but also because I am medium. And so I've seen people's reactions whenever somebody comes through with those types of messages. So um, that's just one example of what can be happening on Thursday. There's a lot of different ways to heal from heartache. Maybe you and somebody are sitting down and having a real heart-to-heart -heart talk about some situations that have happened between the two of you. And now you understand kind of more about where they were coming from and you realize, you know, this was not as personal as I thought it was. <laughs> so it doesn't hurt as much then. Um, anyway, a lot of ways to heal from heartache. But the, the main point here is that on Thursday I do see you healing up from an old heartache. Maybe not completely, but at least getting some healing there. Now, Friday... Gemini, what you have is the Six of Clubs. And the Six of Clubs on Friday just means that you have been working on a project that not only benefits you, but also benefits others around you. And so on Friday, what's happening is people are coming to you and they are expressing their appreciation to you for the hard work and the diligence that you put in on this project that does benefit them as well as you. Okay, so Saturday, what we have coming up is we have the Star in Reverse. Now the star in reverse tells me that Saturday you're going to be feeling a little bit lost. Um, you're not going to feel like you're really totally in touch with the reality that's around you. You're also not going to be feeling like you're really in touch with the cosmos or the universe, God, sacred spirit, whatever word you put on that. And you're just going to be feeling like, like you're just kind of out there, kind of like a spaceman just out there on a tether away from the mothership. <laughs> The rocket? What do we call those now? I guess the shuttle? <laughs> Just kind of out there floating in the middle of nowhere, not really with any kind of direction. That's kind of how you're going to feel on Saturday. All right, so then Sunday what we have is we have the five of clubs coming up in reverse. So Sunday, oh my gosh, for most of you this is coming in as a family situation on Sunday. And there's some kind of competition going on family-wise. So for those of you who are familiar with sibling rivalry, expect some of this. <laughs> <laughs> but this would be something like sibling rivalry. There's some kind of competition going on. For most of you, it is going to be in family. I feel like for a few of you, maybe 20-30% of you, we're talking about something to do with some of your friendships. But this is some kind of competition. And this competition is not a healthy competition. Um, a healthy competition is something that you go into and you compete knowing that you're going to be better after you've prepared for this competition and after you've had this competition, you're going to be faster, you're going to be better, you're going to be more skillful at something. Okay, this kind of competition is not one of those healthy competitions that you come out any better at all with anything. Uh, what you come out of it is beat up. So if you see the competitive situation coming your way, do what you can to avoid it. That's the best advice I can give you on that. Okay, so Gemini, that is your week. For those of you who would like to schedule a session with me, please know that I do more than psychic tarot readings. I also do medium readings and I do spiritual healing. So check out my website. I'm at amista, A-M-I-S-T-A dot info, I-N-F-O. Um, once you're there, should you decide that I'm the best person for you to work with, then go ahead and contact me and we will set up a ske or schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. Um, for the rest of you, I will see you next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.